Hey guys, for this project I will be making a tote bag for fall using heat transfer vinyl and my Cricut machine. TechRap Craft sent me these awesome rolls of animal print HTV to try out as well as some glitter HTV, so that is what I'll be using in today's tutorial along with these other supplies. A polyester tote bag I picked up from Michaels for $2, my Cricut machine and easy press, some weeding tools and scissors, a ruler to measure the workable area on my tote bag, and some black HTV. Let's head over to Cricut Design Space and get started. Alright, so here is the design I made in Cricut Design Space using Cricut images. I have a few different pumpkins that I selected, and I kind of just played around with how they would be layered on my tote bag. And all I did was just search images and search pumpkins, and then I selected a few that I liked and then went ahead and clicked insert images on to the canvas. And then for the wording, I actually found the exact phrase that I wanted in images instead of playing around with text and figuring out what font I wanted. So I just searched it's fall y'all and then I found what I was looking for and I went ahead and inserted inserted that as well. So I think it's a little bit down. And if you're a Cricut Access member, you get access to all of these Cricut um, cut files. So this is the one I used right here. And so as you can see, I just kind of played around with the placement and the design and this is what I came up with. So over here on the right hand side, it's going to have five different cuts and I went ahead and just changed the colors to separate the cuts because that's what the Cricut does. So this orange jack-o-lantern is going to be my orange glitter HTV. This pink pumpkin is going to be one of the animal print HTVs from Tech Wrap Craft and then this pumpkin as well and then I'm going to use some black HTV for the cat and the phrase and so my design overall is a little over 13 and by 9 inches and that's the size that I want for my tote bag after I measured it so everything looks good I'm gonna go ahead and click make it And so before I go any further over here, I'm going to go ahead and go to each cut mat and click the mirror on button. And I like to do this first so I don't forget to go back and click that button when I'm going to the next cut. It's automatically going to do that for me for the next cut if that button is turned on. And it's going to save me a heck of a lot of vinyl because I've done it in the past where I forget to click on that button and then I end up having to go back and mirror my image and waste more vinyl. So next I'm going to set my base material and for the first cut I'm just going to use some um, black HTV scraps that I have. So I'm just going to choose um, Everyday Iron On. It's not a Cricut brand but this setting works for the vinyl that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and load my mat for the first cut. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and load my mat. I'm gonna take the HTV and load it shiny side down. And this is going to be for all of the HTV. And I actually ran out of black. I have enough to do the cat, but not enough to do the words. So I'm gonna use like this dark charcoal gray for the words. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it Again, shiny side down, and then load it into my machine. And then after this is done cutting, I'll take you guys back to my computer and show you the settings for the second cut. All right, so now my first cut is done, so I'm gonna unload the mat. I'm actually gonna flip it over and remove the vinyl this way to keep it from curling, to keep the vinyl from curling. And then I'm gonna take you guys over and show you the settings that I like to use um, for the Tech Wrap Craft patterned vinyl. All right, so I just completed my first cut with the Everyday Iron On setting for the vinyl that I was using. Now for cuts two and three, I'm going to actually use a different um, base material. 
setting. So I'm actually going to search for heat transfer, non-cricket. I'm going to choose that. And then I'm going to actually change the pressure setting to less. Now this is going to be for my Tech Wrap Craft patterned vinyl. I've just noticed that this setting works the best for that vinyl. And so I won't have to go in and change cut number three because it's automatically going to populate to the heat transfer non-cricket with the less pressure setting. But when I get to cut number four, I'm actually going to be using a glittered HTV vinyl. So I'll just go, when I'm done with cut number three, I'll go into cut number four and then I'll select the material again. I will browse materials and then search for glitter and then I will find glitter iron on. And then I'm also going to select less pressure for this as well um, for the Tech Wrap Craft glittered HTV vinyl. These settings I found just work perfectly for that vinyl. So again, I'm going to go change cut number two to heat transfer non cricket less pressure. And then again, when I get to cut number four, I'm going to change it to glitter HTV less pressure. All right, so now I'm ready for cut number two. I'm going to put my Tech Wrap Craft pattern vinyl pattern side down on my mat. And then I will repeat the same process for cut number three. I'm just going to be using um, this pattern vinyl for cut number three. All right, so now I have my five pieces of vinyl cut out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go over to my desk and weave these out and then they'll be ready to heat press on my tote bag. All right, so I have my tote bag down and I actually tried to iron out most of the wrinkles. There's a little bit left. But I have my tote bag ready to go. My easy press mat is actually inside the tote. And then I also have my screen up with my design on it to reference when I'm layering all of these pieces. I have my easy press set to 300 degrees for 10 seconds. I'm just gonna go ahead and preheat applying pressure for 10 seconds at 300. And then I'm going to start layering my design, which you want to go from the back layer to the front, which is the pumpkin, the biggest pumpkin. So I'm going to set him down and then I'm going to heat press for 10 seconds, applying pressure. Now I want to wait until this is completely cool to the touch to peel it because it's still um, working on adhering to my fabric. So I want to wait until I can touch it and it won't um, burn my hand. All right, so it looks like it's ready. So now I'm just going to hold one hand down. and kind of peel slowly. And I have my first layer. Now I wanna keep all of my scraps um, of the transfer backing so that I can cover up my design when I heat press again. So the next one that I'm going to do is this pumpkin with the cat on it. 
and so it goes this way and I'm trying to line it up almost exactly how it looks on my screen so that looks a little more over like And now I'm actually going to move my heat pad over a little bit. Okay, so that looks like it matches. Now I'm gonna take that piece that I used for this pumpkin and cover it up because you don't want your heat plate to touch any vinyl without any protective covering on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press right here for 10 seconds firm pressure. Again, I'm gonna wait for this to cool off before I peel. All right, so it is cool to the touch and I'm just gonna peel it. Go back all my pieces. Now, again, I'm gonna save these scraps and then I'm going to add my cat. Making sure to cover up these pieces again, even though I'm focusing on my heat plate hitting the cat, I still wanna cover this up so that it doesn't melt, the heat plate doesn't melt my vinyl and then stick and ruin my heat plate. So again, I'm gonna do this for 10 seconds. Okay, and then the very last piece is the glitter jack-o-lantern. So I'm gonna put him right there. And then again, I just need to move over my heat pad. Okay. And if you have a piece of parchment, or not parchment paper, but um, Teflon paper, it's a lot easier to use that. I just don't have any right now, rather than using up these um, pieces every single time. But it works. Use what you have. So very last press, and I'm actually going to press the, um, HTV glitter a little bit longer, so I'm actually going to set my easy press to 15 seconds instead of 10, just because it needs a little extra love. done. I really like the Tech Wrap Craft um, patterned vinyl in their glitter HCV. It's really easy to weed and apply, I've noticed. So here is the finished product. I think it's so cute and it was really fun to make and I can't wait to wear this around. When I'm shopping, especially during October, I just think it's so adorable and festive. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe on your way out for more crafty content for me. Take care.